Hello to all of you, I am Matt Bell and welcome back to Cities Skyline. So in the last video we finally got our first tramps running in my city. Uh, there is one, there's another one. Ah, look at it, it's so pretty. So awesome that they added this to the game. Um, uh, there's another one, I, can't, I just can't get enough of those things. Um, but yeah, what I said in the last video uh, is um, that I will actually try to build a new settlement somewhere over here. And uh, somewhere over here, so I will have uh, three little villages that will start to grow together over time. Um, yeah, so that is basically what I'll do in this video. So um, uh, let's, let's start, why not start here? Right over there, I, of course I need everything uh, 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 to do everything again, so I need electricity, I need water and everything else. But that's fine. I think I will do, be able to do that, so bear with me in which direction would I like to build it first. Hmm. Alright, I have an idea. Okay, so I think I will make this a bit more of a residential, a leisure area maybe. And uh, over here, this one will be more like a small industrial town, so I can uh, have uh, my harbor over here probably, so uh, my freight harbor. I think that might be a good idea. So uh, I will do more industrial areas over here, um, where I will start with... Uh, Residential zoning here, as I already did. Did I do that? No, they can walk. They can have a walk by the river. I'd like to have that. <clears throat> All right, let's get it. Get things going with a three, with a six-lane road over here, because I assume this will be very busy as soon as there are lots of trucks rolling on, on and off from here. I might uh, need to change this into a roundabout later on, but for now I will just try to have it like this. It should be good for the beginning anyway. Also I need to find a way maybe... Uh, yeah, I think I will try to connect this one to the water pipe system over here. I think it's not that far away, but still I'm running out of money. So I'll need to wait for a second there. So they already got some water, but they now need more electricity. Mm, I don't have any money for that as well. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I forgot. Whoopsie. Sorry, guys. Alright, I think I will also connect this one. Network right over here. Yeah, I know I don't have enough money. I'm going to speed it up again. There we go. Everything powered up, and uh, everywhere we got water. This is great. Looking good so far. Alright, I can slow down then once again. So now we got three little settlements going on. This one got everything. It's already quite big. This one uh, should have power now. Or am I running low on power already? Once again, no, I should not. So this one counts uh, to the overall amount of electricity I have in this whole region. But I don't know how much of this electricity I got over here. So it's possible that I am... Um, running good on electricity that I'm in the green area but it might be that I still have some electricity problems over here or over there because they are not connected so th that's definitely a thing I'll uh, try to achieve some time that I connect uh, my whole power network oh yeah I'm a busy town because I got a population of 4400 people 
So what does that give me? I got city planning policies, I got uh, more and new unique buildings, I got industry specializations and tourism specializations, got new policies, I got a lot of new roads, and I got some new uh, buildings. Alright, they are cool. Oh, oh, and road maintenance is unlocked. So I think I should worry about that, definitely. Alright, because uh, that will be a thing soon enough. Anyway, the guys over here, they also want to go shopping, so I give them some commercial area. Right on top of the little hill. No, not on top, but... Oh, look at this. Look at the night sky. I just didn't notice that until now. That is beautiful. Anyway, back to business. Um, still need to connect some this over here to some power. There we go. This should do it. Oh yeah, right. And I wanted to have a look at my road maintenance. Um, okay, coverage is low everywhere, of course, because I don't have anything. Um, road maintenance service boosts roads to allow even higher speeds. Roads with no boost work normally with the maximum speed of the respective road types. Boost fades with time. Okay, so the coverage is zero everywhere, of course, and the condition is normal everywhere so if I got the money I will yeah I will definitely do that and I'll put it right to all my other stuff my bus depot my snow dump and my tram depot so that's the service area of the town so far and let's have a look if they already do something to the condition of my roads. Oh yes, they do. Over here and there and there, they are going everywhere and uh, improving my roads. That is really good. Good to whoa. Good to know. All right, let's check out whether there will be. Nope, no commercial so far. Although I have quite a demand. Maybe they don't want to settle down there. Maybe they want to settle somewhere over here, for example. So I'll just go ahead and uh, give them the possibility to do so. By adding new roads and telling them that they can build more commercial buildings over here, for example. Let's see what this will do. Let's check whether there are... Alright, there are already uh, buildings under construction. Oh, there we go, there. Now there are... Um, now there are also commercial buildings rising up over here, but they don't have any power because... Eh. There we... Oh, that's stupid. Hold on a second. There we go. Now they get power, <coughs> and everything is fine. Also, I got a lot of new people that want to move in. Alright, sorry, you gotta move out there, I wanna demolish your house. I'm sorry, uh, you can build a new one as soon as you want, but... Sorry, this one's this place occupied now. And of course, they need some services because they have nothing so far over here. So I will give them a little clinic. I will. Yeah, I also should give them. Uh, uh, should give them a landfill site. 
so they don't have to worry about their waste. Um, school would be nice because I want to have this area to be one of the nicer places to live. What else could I build? A police department, yes, that's a good thing. Definitely. Mm, where could I put one in? There we go. That's a nice spot. And uh, yeah, so I got no more money. Which means... I need to wait again. Oh, and I really should... Alright, I'm running low on power over here. Yeah, that's a problem. Consumption is still a bit underneath my production. But that's exactly the case uh, I mentioned earlier. Because uh, the overall amount looks okay, but uh, in this area uh, there is not enough electricity produced. So uh, before I do anything else, I need to build more of those wind turbines. One and two. <clears throat> I will have a huge wind park. Uh, a, a huge park of wind turbines, that's what I wanted to say, uh, on this mountain later on. That is looking great. So what I most definitely need in this area over here, in my uh, industrial area, besides the police station which I just planted, um, is a fire station, which I can't afford now, but uh, I will do. I will be able to do so in just a second. Uh, because uh, the fire hazard in industrial areas is uh, way bigger than in normal areas. So, um, yeah, I will have burnt down buildings here in no time when I don't put a fire station somewhere next to it. Yeah, as I just said, no, well, that didn't happen in this place, it happened somewhere over here. Let's turn down the speed again. Uh, there, there, there we go. This is a burnt down building. That's, that, that's definitely a thing I don't like that much about this game, that you have to remove burnt down buildings um, all by yourself. Uh, but there are definitely mods existing uh, which do that for you. I don't have one of them, so... Um, I still need to do this all by myself. It's a bit annoying after a while, but, well, I can handle it, I can deal with that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, I forgot to put some water pipes down there, that's not good. Sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. So this area over here is growing <laughs> like crazy. I should uh, paint another district right here, so I know how many I have there. Exactly. And right over there. This one is called Heather Square. Let's check. Uh, I got a population of 650. And I got 4,700 4, overall living in my town so far. Oh, yeah. And also, I want to have uh, a little, a small bus line in this area so that they can travel a bit around at least let's get there let us stop there and finish it there so that they don't need to um, go everywhere by car in this little area so they only need to go some need to take their car when they want to go uh, over here or uh, downtown well that's at the moment this is downtown but that won't be uh, forever oh and I'm running out of power again oh, I mean to do that and build another one of those but besides my little power problem I just had here 
everything seems to be fine, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, wait a second. Ooh, I got over 1,000 people living in this area already. That's quite a lot. And I think I also should add a, a snow dump somewhere around this place because the roads are getting white, which isn't a good sign, but I think I will do this uh, later when I got more money. Um, so yeah, I think I will leave this episode for now. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, share the video, or basically just do what you want. So I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, have a good time, and bye-bye! Uh,